Hello and welcome to Indo Global Entrepreneurship Forum 2023 organized with Business Connect. So we have with us Mr. Manoj Kumar Sharma from Hue Consulting. Hello sir and welcome to this forum. We would like to know a brief about your company's profile and like your future goals. So uh, thank you very much for inviting uh, our organizations and uh, I, I really appreciate the effort which you guys are putting. So, Hugo stands for uh, Human Quotients, which is HR management and consulting organizations. So, uh, the human capital has become one of the uh, biggest disruption in today's corporate world in the terms of achieving the growth which any organization wants to achieve. So, when I'm saying disruption, dis disruption in terms of not having a right talent on time in the company. Uh, I'm talking about recruitment, uh, having employee in the company, but the employee they're not performing, having employee in the company, but they are leaving the organizations, okay? Having employee in the organization, but they culturally not fit, okay? So these are certain things which has been impacting a company's growth like anything. So uh, as an organization, uh, we have identified these are the area which has become a growth challenge for corporate world. And as an organization, we are here to bring a strategic intervention in uh, bringing a right kind of talent to in client company, which is under the business vertical we have for recruitment. Okay. Once recruitment activity gets over, right, then we have another business line, uh, which is a HR consulting uh, vertical, where we help our client in uh, making sure the employee satisfaction level is going high or in case any client they're facing any kind of issues which is related with their existing human capital then we bring a strategic intervention under HR consulting services to resolve those gaps okay right uh, this is the second uh, kind of you know the services which we have as organization for uh, you know the service which we have where there's a lots of organization in market they don't want to have employee on their payroll right so we have a third business line which is a contract staffing but that's only for the hr professionals since we hr organization so we create a uh, you know professional hr uh, executives in our organization and we deploy them at our client site and the employee, they're going to operate from a client side. We have product called Hiko Heroes. So we keep them on our payroll and we deploy them on a client side. So this is the, uh, you know, the bouquet of services which we have for client. And, uh, you know, last couple of years, due to these intervention, uh, there's a lots of clients, they got benefited. And we want to continue the better service on similar line in the future as well. Okay, so that's great to know. Also, sir, we have been hearing a lot about recession taking a toll on businesses. So, what's your take on that? Uh, just dif differently, recession is something which is a uh, uh, big dent, and, and in the same past, if you see, uh, the overall business uh, has gone down by twenty-five to thirty years. Okay. So, there's a differently uh, impact due to recession, and especially which is on uh, U.S and European, uh, uh, you know, the reason. Uh, now, when we're talking about recession, okay, uh, there's two reasons to it. One reason is, definitely there is a, due to Russia, Ukraine, war, uh, there's certain things which is getting impacted. Uh, and those are the real reasons. But there's certain things which is artificial in nature, where there's a mini company, they're doing well, but by hearing all these things which is happening in the market due to, you know, the uh, price rate which is going high, the, uh, you know, the petroleum crude, uh, you know, the price has gone high, uh, the company, they are taking little calculator, uh, you know, the action in releasing their project in the market, okay? So, recession there. Some recession is there with the real reason. Some recession is there because client has become very cautious, right? Uh, but uh, due to these recessions which is there in, uh, in outside India, Indian market is a uh, little less impacted as compared to uh, you know Europe or US. Uh, but these recessions are not going to go in a market for long run. Okay. Things started happening in a very positive manner. Uh, where climb in last quarter or last last quarter, they were going a little slow in the terms of their, uh, you know, the 
the kind of support they wanted from us, they started coming back, right? So I think in uh, in the near future, uh, I think we will be over out of it. So, but yes, in one line, the recession has impacted, but that's not going to go in the market for the long run. So we'll have things in a positive manner in place in the near future. So now I'd request Mehak to ask you a few questions. Sure. Hello, sir. Hi. So as you are into talent management, and nowadays AI is coming fastly. So what do you think? It will be a threat to your uh, industry, and or it will give benef benefits to your in industry. Uh, Mehak, uh, you know, one thing we have to keep in mind: uh, you know, the AI or machine learning or new technology which is coming in the market. It was never threat. It is not threat. It will not be threat in future. In fact, these are the technology platform which increase your efficiency. Okay, it makes things uh, very competitive, right? Definitely, this is a threat for those people. One of the irony, uh, in HR businesses, okay, where uh, the majority of people in the market, and I, I was always feeling bad when people they were talking about uh, certain terms for HR in when I was in job they were using HR as a support function and liability for the company the fact is HR is never it was never a support function liability it was always an enabling function but I'll not blame uh, uh, board or CEOs and the corporate for using these words for HR department I'll blame HR department itself uh, responsible for this because uh, you know, recruitment, I'm just doing example recruitment, which is one of the beautiful subject, okay? Uh, but 90% population in India, in recruitment, they're non-HR, they're HR, okay? So recruitment is not, you know, picking up call and giving call to candidate and asking question, what is the current compensation, what is the expected compensation? This is not recruitment. This is not recruitment at all. It's such a beautiful subject. It's such a deep subject. This is a subject which can bring a transformation in the organization subject to the HR, they play HR in the right manner. Because organization moving up and moving down depends on the quality of employee. So if you have a quality HR, okay, they'll bring quality people in the organization. And once you'll have a flow of quality people in the organization, the productivity, efficiency will go up. But the problem is when I was working as a HR leader, HR head in different organization, and I, uh, CEO and board, they don't understand. The, so HR, the literal meaning HR these in market is cutting cake on the floor and making rangoli. That's not HR, okay? And CEO and board, they uh, don't understand this uh, fancy uh, slide and rangoli. And they want uh, answer in the maths, okay? And I'm completely with uh, CEOs and board on that. Because at the end of the day, what is maths you're bringing on the floor as an HR department, that's more important, okay? So, so my submission here is uh, HUCO, uh, HUCO stands for Human Quotient, okay? So HUCO as an organization, uh, we don't want to work as an HR uh, consulting firm. We're not an HR consultant, we're HR engineers, okay, right? So, so we want to speak in the language which board and CEOs understand. We want to bring a services which is going to help them in having a right post in the organization uh, by doing a different recruitment interventions. In our organizations, we have a very thorough process uh, where we run a deeper assessment call before hiring any candidate for our client. Okay? By doing this, we are becoming a growth partner with our client. Okay? As an organization, we want to come up with a strategy which is going to help my client in reducing attrition in the company. Okay. By HR intervention, we want to bring... So now, one of the things which I'll say here. So, you know, we are talking about these day 5G, okay, 25T, okay, 5 trillion, which is Mr. Modi saying. So, Hugo has uh, 5G to 5T will not be possible till the time we are not implementing another 5T which is called as a talent. Here T for talent. Okay. So you go as an organization to make uh, government defenders vision to move from. This is what our finance minister C, uh, has given a statement in parliament where she said let's move from 5G to 5 trillion economy in the country. 
so we hugo as an organization we want to come up with the uh, strategy to support india government vision to move from 5g to 5t which is 5 trillion economy by supporting my different corporate client by another 5t which is a talent pool okay till the time that another 5t will not be uh, there uh, 5G will not get converted into 5 trillion things, right? So, Hugo, by keeping uh, not only government of India's visa and considerations, we uh, we are global organizations, okay? So, we are here to support all clients from across the world in fixing their human capital issues, okay? By bringing a deeper, insightful intervention on the one of the service which we have that is. recruitment and we do recruitment only on the niche skill middle and top level we want to bring intervention in managing our hr hygiene in organization better manner okay we want to bring solution by having a contract staffing in mark my word we don't want to work on any subject which we don't understand so when we say contract staffing we are talking about only contract staffing for hr professionals which we understand So our plan is to build a pool of HR professional in our office on the training program which we have, and then we want to deploy them at our client site. So they will be in our payroll under third service which we have, that is the content staffing, and the product which we have. The product is known as the Hugo Heroes, where Hugo employee will be in our payroll, but they're going to operate at client site. So we're taking all these intervention uh, to become a true strategic. consulting hr partner with the client in india and client outside india so this is and and in fact if you see the the vision which we have right so hugo has been again started by group of alumni is passed out of my xlri so we are not here to build when we go so when we started our organization in 2016 and we said hey we hr management for the first thing which was coming in oh you are recruitment company Our answer was, of course, we're recruitment company, but we are more than recruitment company. And to give answer to the corporate world, we started using a word called "we want to become like a McKinsey or Boston Consulting or A.T. Carney or Bain and Company in HR domain." So that's the reason we have as organizations. I hope I have answered your question. Thanks for your valuable viewpoints. Uh, will you please share your experience with Business Connect and this forum? Definitely. Uh, so uh, I'm really happy. Uh, the way business connect magazine and uh, the team has organized this uh, indo global uh, entrepreneurship forum where they brought uh, you know entire young professional startup under one uh, banner uh, we had a really healthy discussion on uh, since morning uh, the best part was we had a startup from all flavor of domain okay so we got a chance to hear the startup they into agriculture or ai and ml or they into construction or they into banking and financial sector so in fact everyone here they learn a lot from each other right so it was fantastic initiated by business connect uh, so i would like to thank uh, you know your entire team right and we're looking forward to have similar kind of uh, uh you know conference in future and definitely that's going to bring a lots of value add for us surely business connect will organize such knowledgeable and fruitful sessions in the future also thanks a lot for your valuable time and all the best for you and thanks for having me here <laughs>